How to create an animated and curved bottom navigation bar in Flutter? To create this animated bottom navigation bar easily, we will make use of this package here. Let's start by creating within our scaffold the bottom navigation bar property and here inside we create then this curved navigation bar widget from this package. And finally, you can create the items that are displayed inside of your bottom navigation bar. Therefore, we define here a list of icons and with this, we have here this curved animated bottom navigation bar. Next to these five icons, you also can set a height. And with this, we have now here decreased the height of our bottom navigation bar. By default, the first item is selected. However, maybe you want to select initially another item. Therefore, you can create within your state an index field and we set it to two. And lastly, you put then this index field also inside of your curved navigation bar. And with this, if we hot restart, then we have here our second index as the initial item. Next, we want to detect if we click on another bottom navigation bar item and therefore you have the property on tap. And here you get then every time the index of the item that we are navigating to. And we simply want to save then this index inside of our state. And lastly, we can display then this index also in our UI. Therefore, we go to our scaffold and here within the body property, I create a text widget and inside of it, we display then the index. And with this, if we change this bottom navigation bar item, then always the number is here displayed at the top of the current index. If you change the background color of your page to another color, then you see that we have here at the bottom this blue area. To fix this, you can set the background color to transparent. And with this, we change here this blue to the transparent color. Next, we want to create within our scaffold body property a different content. So we simply replace it by a full screen image. And now you see that the body content is not going here under our bottom navigation bar. To fix this, you go to your scaffold and here you set the extend body property to true. As a result, the body widgets will also go here under your bottom navigation bar. Next, you can change the background color and icon color of your bottom navigation bar. Therefore, you have the color property to set the background color of your bottom navigation bar. And you also can set here the button background color, which I set to purple. And with this, you can always change here the selected background color of this floating action button. And finally, we want to change also the icon color. Therefore, you can wrap around your curved navigation bar the theme widget and inside of it, you can basically change the icon theme data. And with this, you can then define the icon color within your bottom navigation bar. And now you see that the icon color changed here to this white color that we basically have defined here. By default, if you change here between the items, then the animation takes 600 milliseconds and you can also change it. Therefore, you can create here the animation duration and you can define here your own milliseconds, how long it should take. And with this, if I change between the items, you see it is faster. Next, we want to programmatically jump to another item if we click on this button. Therefore, you need to create within your curved navigation bar a navigation key. And this navigation key you simply create here at the top within your state. So it is a global key of curved navigation bar state. And lastly, you only need to make use of this navigation key. And therefore, I go here to this elevated button that you see here on the right side. And if we click on this button, then you can get over this navigation key, the state of your navigation bar. And after this, you can use the navigation state to change to a different page inside of your navigation bar. Let's also try it out. If I click on this button, you see we go to the zero item, which we have defined here inside of the set page. And finally, if we click here on these different items, then we want to go to a real new page, a home page, a search page or whatever page you like. Therefore, you create here a new field inside of your state, which is called screens. And here for each of your icons, you put then the right page inside, so the home page, then for the second one, the search page and so on. And therefore, I have basically created here a folder with all the different pages with the home page that I have defined here, which is basically a scaffold. And here I display then the text home inside. And I also have done this with all the other pages. The profile page has here also its own scaffold. 
and here I display them the text profile instead. Alright, and lastly we only need to make use of these screens, therefore we access here the screen property inside of our scaffold body property, so we replace here our content by our screens and then we take the index of the current item that we have selected within our bottom navigation bar. And with this, if we change between our items, then you see that we always update here the text inside of the center. And this is basically then the page that we have defined here. And here I simply display right now only the home text. However, you can put here then any content inside, which should be displayed on this page. And finally, if we run this app inside of an iOS device, then you see that this home indicator is on top of our bottom navigation bar. To fix this, you simply go to the page which has your curved navigation bar and then around the scaffold you want to wrap then the save area widget and also make sure that you set here the top to false. And with this, the bottom navigation bar will go on top of our home indicator. And as you see, we have here then a black color for our home indicator. If you also want to fill here then the blue color inside, then you can simply go here and wrap around your safe area widget, also the container with a blue color. And now if I hot reload, then you see that we also have here the blue color under our home indicator. And lastly, if we change between our items, then you see that this item is always fully displayed here where our home indicator is. To prevent this, you can simply wrap around your scaffold the clip wrecked widget. Let's also try it out. If I change between the icons, you see that the icon is not going anymore to this home indicator. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.